You're listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. Each week, your host, Polly Requa, interviews veterinarians and individuals in the pet industry from across the nation answering pet questions. Bark and Wag podcast is produced weekly for your enjoyment, and show notes can be found at BarkandWag.com under the podcast tab. That's B-A-R-K-N-W-A-G.com. Please remember to subscribe to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. Welcome to Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. I'm your host, Polly Requa. Today we're talking to Steve from the Dog House in Breckenridge, Colorado. The Dog House specializes in overnight boarding, doggy daycare, bathing, and training. Welcome, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, we're super excited to have you on the podcast today. I wanted to talk about my dogs have been going to doggy daycare for years, but I'm sure there's a lot of new pet owners or even owners that are going back in the workforce and going to doggy daycare could be kind of scary. So I wanted you to uh, help us understand what happens when we walk in your door and drop our dog off at doggy daycare. Sure. So, um, you know, the first thing that we need out of people is to understand that You know, this is a very safe environment. You know, we make sure that the dogs are in a controlled environment, playing appropriately. We're also licensed, bonded, and insured, which is very important. And also, all the dogs that come here are vaccinated. Uh, Rabies, Bordetella, and Distemper. Um, Those requirements are met before you even come through the doors. We have to review all your vaccinations, make sure your dog is properly vaccinated. Um, Then, once you've made a reservation, we have your shot records, and you come in, uh, we analyze your dog, make sure that they're playing in an appropriate play group. Um, So in other words, we separate by dogs by size, age, temperament, um, and make sure they're playing appropriately. You know, any doggy daycare is going to make sure that your dog is having a good time, uh, making sure that they're in with the appropriate group and not stressed out. So... That's that's the big thing so that we, we do right when you get here. Okay, and do you do any of the shots uh, yourself, or do you have to go to the vet to have all the vaccinations? So we make sure that you go to your vet. Um, okay. We want your vet to administer shots. That way we're, you know, we're out of the liability of that. We're not a veterinarian. We don't want to administer shots or anything like that. And and we want to make sure that the shots came from a veterinarian. So that way you're okay. covered as as well as us. And so what what are some of the things that happen inside the playroom at Doggy Daycare? <laughs> um, so we have them running, jumping, having a great time. Staff is here. We make sure that they're playing appropriately. Um, you know, so no mounting, no fighting. We don't have toys in our play groups uh, just because that can create possession issues and things like that. And just, you know, making sure they're having a really good time. You know, all the staff is trained very well. If there is a fight, things do happen. They are animals. And that's something that really needs to be touched upon is that these are animals. There are going to be fights. It's like a big frat party and they're having a great time and things do happen. So we're right there to make sure that it doesn't get out of hand and that nothing bad happens, hopefully. And do you have a timeout area? We absolutely do. So we have a timeout area. If dogs get too ramped up, we can give them a little break. Um, You know, there's a fine line between play and aggression. Anybody that's been around dogs has has seen that, where a dog goes absolutely having the time of their lives to fighting. So we make sure that if they start, we look for signs, and if they start getting agitated, uh, we give them a little time out, give them a break, and then slowly integrate them back into the group. And if you had, like, when you are t- talking to the owners, do you ask what, if the dog has any issues, so then you can kind of assess and watch those pets to make sure they're they bond well with and play well with other dogs absolutely um the thing is not all you know owners are forthcoming with their dog's behavior so sometimes we get blindsided but we're pretty keen to just looking at a dog coming through the door their demeanor sure sign if a dog comes in and marks in the lobby they're probably not going to be playing with the group for very long because they have territory issues. So there are little signs that that we take, but we do ask for owner's input. Absolutely. Whether they give us that input, that's a whole sure. different ball game. Sure. <laughs> Steve, let me just take a break uh, from our sponsor and we'll be right back. This is Polly Requa, host of Bark and Wag 15-Minute Vet Talk. Today we're talking about Rover.com. 
Rover.com is our sponsor. Rover.com is the largest network of five-star pet sitters and dog walkers in the United States. Rover.com offers in-home dog boarding, pet sitting, dog walking, and even doggy daycare. Rover.com has an app that allows you to search, book, favorite, and even pay. It's so easy. Our family is super busy. I have two girls in competitive sports. If I can't take the dogs to a sports event, I go on rover.com and find a dog sitter. I can do a free meet and greet. I can review a detailed profile and review of the sitter. And every booking is insured. If you're a dog owner, you must check out rover.com. Get $25 off your first booking by visit rover.com slash vet talk. That's rover.com slash V-E-T-T-A-L-K. And you will receive $25 off. Rover.com is on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. When in need of a service to help you with your dog, use rover.com. For $25 off your first booking, visit rover.com slash vet talk. So Steve, I had a question with the dog house. We, I dropped my black lab off quite a bit at the facility and in the summer she comes back wet and happy so tell me what happens i think you have a pool somewhere we do so in the summertime we bought a big stock tank and uh, we let these guys jump and romp and play in the pool um we even have a lifeguard chair so we get to be lifeguards and let these guys jump in and out of the pool uh, we, you know, we make sure that they're, it, it's never above their head. So they're, you know, obviously able to touch the, the ground in the pool. We're not going to have anybody swimming, but you know, it gets quite warm up here and these guys get to swim. We also get the hoses out and, and spray and, and just have a really good time with these dogs. So, you know, I'm probably more wet than they are when they leave here. <laughs> and how many people do you have uh, working in the facility? Depending on the group of dogs, we try to keep 10 to 15 dogs per staff member. Um, So, you know, depending on the day, there could be six or more of us here. It really, you know, just depends on the the group of dogs, too. If it's a really rowdy group, we'll keep the number of dogs lower to staff members. So we could have, you know, 10 dogs per staff member. It, It just really varies. And so do you have to, can you drop in or do you have to register, are most doggy daycares, do you have to register before the day of? Correct. Um, So we don't allow any new customers to come in day of. Um, We're strictly, you know, returning customers and all reservations are required. Um, So you need to go to our website and make a a portal, um, an owner's portal and have all your shots current before you can come in the door. And that saves time. You know, we don't want the owner hanging around in the lobby for too long. It, it gets quite stressful, especially for the owner. The dogs, once they're in playgroup, they're fine. But the owners really get stressed out. And we want them to feel comfortable. But you made the reservation. You really need to trust us. I mean, we've been here 14 years. And we're pretty good at what we do. I'm really proud of that. So, And what? tell me about when you walk in and it's time to pay. Is it better if you live in the community to do single or is it better to do a bulk so we have punch passes which brings the price down a lot of people in the community you know they work on the mountains and whatnot um so they get a punch pass they're able to also cut right in front of the line and just go drop their dog off there is no paying no nothing they're just in and out within 10 seconds okay is there anything else you want to bring up i would like to say you know just understand that we're here to babysit dogs, not humans. Please understand that, that we're not trying to push you out the door, but the more time we get to spend with the dogs, the more fun they get to have. And what are your hours? Our hours are seven to six, seven days a week. Um, we are closed Thanksgiving and Christmas. And where are you located? We are located on uh, 229 Continental Court which is right behind Colorado Mountain College in beautiful Breckenridge, Colorado. Okay, and I'll put your information uh, in our show notes as well. Awesome. Good. Well, I certainly appreciate you being on the podcast, and we look forward to having you back. Oh, thank you, Polly. Thank you for listening to Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass along our web address, www.barkandwag.com, to your friends and other pet owners. 
Have a pressing question for a veterinarian? Ask your question at BarkAndWag.com under the podcast tab. This has been a KFR production. Join us next time for another edition of Bark and Wag's 15-Minute Vet Talk.